Hi, Zach Pater here at River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport and Red Wing. What a cool boat to take you through today. This here is one of my favorite 25 foot boats in the market. This is the Rinker 250 Fiesta V. This particular boat is a 2006. Gonna take you through a quick walk through of the outside and the inside of this boat. Show you some of the neat stuff I like about it. Uh, sold Rinker boats for many years, very familiar with them. Uh, starting with the back of the boat here, you'll notice that nice big swim platform. You have stainless steel pop-up cleats on the back of each corner and a nice big stainless steel boarding ladder that's covered. You also notice you got a transom shower on the back. And one fine note, take a look at where the shore power is in the back there. This boat's actually got its shore choice, so we can hook the shore power up back here, or we can hook it up on the uh, port side of the boat where it's currently hooked up. Nice stainless steel grab rails wrap around the back of the boat. Work our way down the side of the boat, and this one's got the black hull with black accent striding, striping, and the uh, bimini top is all the linen tweed. All stainless steel hardware for the bimini top, all stainless steel uh, cleats. You also have a stainless steel bow rail that is all welded. Nice uh, portholes out the front, and the top of the boat here is all non-skid as well. The anchor, you got a stainless steel pulpit along with a covered... Uh, area for the chain and for the road. This particular boat has all new road that was just installed. So that's a quick walk through on the outside of the boat and let's jump inside. All right, we're gonna take a step on board. One thing you gotta notice when you look at these Rinker 250s, first of all, they're an eight and a half foot wide boat. So if you wanna get a trailer for the boat, you can legally run it down the road. But you look at how big and wide this cockpit is and the cockpit seating is in this boat and the way they laid it out to really maximize the room. The entrance here is just off to the port side, right down by where the fuel is. It's a one level cockpit when you get inside. There is no steps up or step downs. You also have full lay down carpeting. The uh, stereo has been upgraded with Affinity speakers. Notice that you have stainless steel cup holders throughout the boat as well. Off to the starboard side, when you walk in, you've got a wet bar with stainless grab rail, your sink, trash, and if you notice the trash can lid is actually Corium. Um, you got a cooler down below and you got 110 outlets right below that. Go to the back of the boat here and you got the nice uh, full bench seat here. Very nice, it's deep, it's comfortable. And generally speaking, the upholstery appears to be in really nice condition. Uh, Rinker's always done a good job with their fabrics and upholsteries. Nice big lounge seat here off to your uh, port side. Very comfortable. They also didn't really completely L it off, so it really makes this cockpit feel a little more open and uh, a little more user friendly. You do have a stainless grab rail as you enter the cabin. Again, Corian accented cup holders here. You have a walkthrough windshield with steps and a very, very attractive looking dash. You have a Lowrance GPS. You got a new depth finder that was just installed this spring. Trim tabs with LED indicator lights. The boat's got a eight person capacity. And it does have a flip up bolster seat, making it a little more comfortable for the captain. So from there, we're gonna take a walk down inside the cabin. I think probably the most impressive part of the Rinker 250 is the cabin and the attention to detail they spent. You go inside the boat, you've got a beautiful, nice wood dinette table. Corian accents for the uh, galley area here. All the fit and finish work is beautifully done. Microwave, your stove, refrigerator down below. Work your way forward. The uh, dinette here can go down and into a bed, a very big bed at that. All vinyl headliner, nice side opening port windows. And I like how they do the uh, different fabrics on the side. Just gives it a really crisp, cool look. And they use a different color for the back rest and the seat bottoms. And then they do a different color vinyl for your uh, for the headliner. Really gives it kind of a sharp overall look. As we look back the other way, uh, a new smart TV has been installed. You have your air conditioning and heat controls up top. Nice cabinets and nice cabinet space. And you also have the stereo head unit there, uh, easy to access. Work our way towards the mid cabin and you'll notice it's nice and open. Your 110 panel, also easy to access and very well labeled. Uh, the mid cabin, again, very easy to get in and out of. All vinyl headliner. Video is not gonna really show the size, but it is nice, it's deep, it's big. 
Um, for a 25 foot boat, it should certainly impress. Before we exit the cabin, we got to take a look at the head. The head on the inside of the bathroom door, there is a full length mirror. All stainless hardware for the latches there. Full piano hinge on the door, keeping it nice and strong. You got an opening port, stainless towel bar there or grab bar, stainless steel sink. The uh, faucet handle is removable, so that way you can uh, shower in here. And it's all fiberglass lined. There's also a mirror in there with a light. All fiberglass lined, fiberglass floor. Nice, clean, simple, uh, but very functional. So that pretty well took care of the cabin. Before we exit the boat, I wanted to show you this motor compartment. There's only 300 and, let me take a look here, 351 hours on the 350 Meg MPI. This is a 300 horse Merc Cruiser. Good looking motor compartment. You got a power engine hatch. Does have a Bravo 3 drive. Overall, just it's nice, it's clean, it's well together and easy to access. All right, well, that's a quick video wrap up here, this 25 foot rinker. Very good 250 Express. Again, I'm Zach Pater here at River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport in Red Wing, Minnesota. Please call, text, or email with any questions or to set up a time to view. And I appreciate you taking a few minutes to watch our video.